So after watching uh, the really great video about the Collatz Conjecture by Veritasium and Alex Kontorovic, uh, I wanted to make my own video um, sort of talking about some things that I'd investigated with the conjecture myself. Uh, I'm an engineering student um, and I've just graduated, but I found out about the conjecture a couple of years ago and uh, it was really fun to investigate. Um, you know, I, I found a couple neat things and it taught me a lot about math. So just to start, um, we'll recall the Collatz function, which is a function which takes an input n, and then there are two rules for this function. So if uh, the number n is even, we're going to divide it by 2, and if it's odd, we're going to multiply it by 3 and add 1. Um, so we can see an example here. So if we take our initial number 3, well, 3 is odd, so we multiply it by 3, get 9 and add 1, uh, and that's... 10, so our next number now is even, uh, so we're going to divide it by 2, that gives us 5, uh, which is odd, so we multiply by 3 and add 1, which gives us 16, uh, so now we have an even number, so we divide by 2, 16 divided by 2 is 8, uh, 8 is even as well, so we divide by 2 again, we get 4, uh, 4 is even again, we divide by 2, get 2, uh, 2 is even, uh, and then we get 1. Now you'll notice here that with 1, if we multiply it by 3 and add 1, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so we get this sort of cycle, right, where we go from 1 back to 4 and we get stuck there. And the conjecture says that any number n, any positive integer from 1 to 11 billion to infinity, um, you know, eventually becomes this cycle for two, one, and uh, it just repeats there. Now, uh, Alex Kontorovich states in the Veritasium video that his hunch uh, is that uh, actually the conjecture is false. There's some number somewhere uh, that either blows up to some huge value, uh, or uh, there's a number that is a cycle, right? Like it, it keeps going. So it loops around on itself. It eats its own tail, like this 4 to 1 example, but maybe, I don't know, it's 11 kajillion and then 40 kabillion and then, you know, one Google and it cycles through those or something. Whatever. So, uh, my hunch, however, is that the conjecture is not true. Or is true. Sorry, my hunch is that the conjecture is true and I think Alex Kontorovich is wrong. Um, and I sort of wanted to talk about some of the reasons why I think that. Um, so to start, when I was looking at this problem, you know, I, to me, this is really a problem of infinity, right? Like, you can put any number into this function from 1 to uh, infinity, so I wanted to corral the problem. I wanted to constrain the problem initially, and my first thought was like, are there any numbers that, uh, like classes of numbers, that uh, always reduce to this four, two, and one uh, cycle uh, that, are, that are easy to prove or easy to show that they always collapse. And uh, it doesn't take too much thought uh, to find a class of numbers right away, uh, which is powers of two, right? So these are numbers, two, four, eight, 16, 32, and so on, um, that under this conjecture, uh, this class of numbers will always, always uh, break down uh, into this 4 to 1 cycle. And it's pretty easy to see that. Um, you know, take 2 to the 3, for example, 2 times 2 times 2. Well, you can see that that's 8. Um, and if the number 8 is made up of 2 times 2 times 2, and all I'm doing is dividing by 2 every time, uh, you know, I take my even number and feed it into the conjecture, uh, you can see how any string, like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 going on forever, if you're just going to go and do the inverse of it, which is divide by n over 2, um, eventually you'll always get back to 4, 2, 1. So I could have 2 to the billion you know, and all I'm going to do is a billion steps of n over 2. So um, that's a pretty trivial example. Um, but immediately, you know, with a little bit of thought on my own, I had found a class of numbers that 
that always reduce to 1. in the conjecture. So I'm gonna keep these videos short um, and the next one uh, will answer uh, the next sort of logical question which is well you found uh, an even number uh, or an even set a set of even numbers that always reduce to one in the conjecture. Um, are there any examples of odd, odd numbers, classes of odd numbers that always reduce uh, in the conjecture?